he was a Benedictine monk for 10 years. And he talks a lot um, in his autobiography, and he would talk about it in the studio about um, just the meta the repetitive thing of weaving. And he started by weaving fabric. So they would make ruanas and other things that they would sell in the um, shop for the monks to have something to live on. And um, that's where weaving started for him. And he's really very much a self-taught weaver. Mm -hmm. A lot of his um, influence came from that spiritual basis that mm -hmm. he always had this core of quiet and focused. Like that's how I see James when I think about him now. It's it's this focused ability that very few people have. You know, his intensity about the form and nature, the spirituality, the sacred geometry, mm -hmm. which is both, um, it's both religious and spiritual, but it's also very, very ma mathematically. Yes. He taught and talked so much about sacred geometry. It was a really, really big thing for him. The golden mean. It's a ratio of sizes that happens in nature that's, of course, proportionally beautiful. And every single design he ever did was based on that. And so it's, right, very mathematical, very fascinating. And so he would use that grid structure and those mathematical relationships, and he would say, how does this apply to color? And when I dye the color, mm -hmm. you know, he would have 32 bobbins of something that you could very not distinguish between the two colors. I mean, it, it was so minute, his gradation. So he was very scientific in terms of his um, color dye. 